I'll be unboxing New Jeans' first single album, OMG. I got all six versions and this was ordered on the Weaver shop, so it looks like there's some pre-order benefits that I totally forgot about, so yeah, let's open this up and see. First, I want to look at these pre-order benefits from the Weaver shop. Danielle. Head in. Honey. Minji. Heyin. And a grip card. Here looks like it's, I guess like a photo card frame holder. Oh, and it looks like it has their names. Danielle. Hedden. Are these like assigned colors? Do they have member colors? I never found out if they did or not. So that was Hani, Hedden, Danielle, Minji. And, and new jeans. Okay, that's cute. Oh, so you don't get the full set? So it looks like I got two lenticular postcards of Minji and Hani. So you'll see that and then the group photo. Oh, cool. Looks really crazy in that lighting. Looks like that in the back. So those are the pre-order benefits from the Weaver shop. Now I'll unbox all of these in age order. I realize I think Hani's older than Danielle, so it should be in that order. First, I'll go through the Minji version. The case is very interesting. It looks like semi like a VHS tape, but that's just my first impression. Let's see how the materials are when this is opened. So here's the front side. Message cards. Oh, and here's the back side. Let's try the top part. Make your own new jeans, all doors, wherever you go. Ah, uh, okay, I see. There's the first postcard. I think it was numbered. Looks like that said two. Then what's one? This one says number three. Another message. Um, actually quite a bit of postcards here and they're all numbered as you can see heart is glowing, it be glowing. So it kind of has the same idea as photo cards with the message in the back, so this is a pretty cute idea. Twilight. So right now it's kind of like the ditto concept, which it was released kind of around Christmas time. It's a very beautiful sentimental song. 
apparently it was also produced by 250 or 250 I'm not really sure how to say the producer's name a very talented person you could also check out his solo album it has quite experimental tracks um, very outside of the box and yeah I kind of find that the tracks that are produced by him tend to be my favorite so ditto was produced by 250 and I know there's like other writers as well like I think Minji had a hand in lyrics there may have been like other composers but I recognize 250 and then OMG had the same producer and maybe writers as the ones who wrote Cookie when I first heard OMG it reminded me of Cookie and I could see why after seeing the credits because yeah, I had that kind of vibe, but it was a very fun song. But out of Ditto and OMG, I definitely like Ditto a lot. It's so melodic. It sounds kind of like like you're longing for something or it's like sentimental. It has that kind of feeling and it was like a perfect release during Christmas or, you know, the holidays. And the music videos were very like mind blowing. Like if you look into the theories online or like people's analysis it's really crazy what kind of messages are being conveyed through their two music videos that were released almost back to back omg is a really cute song too but um definitely the message behind it at least the music video a little dark um kind of points out uh the effect that idols may go through like the detrimental effects of being an idol but um, don't want to get too much into that stuff. It's, this is not a theory channel. It's an unboxing collection channel. But um, definitely a unique concept for this group. I really like how they are always kind of setting the trends and doing things that are unexpected of a, of a K-pop group. Oh my god. So now the postcard concepts, the outfits are becoming a little more fun. I recognize this bunny hat, like a cap with the bunny ears. It was also worn in one of the YouTube performance videos. Very cute. Looks like they're all having fun. A bunch of friends just getting together, just dancing and singing together. Like it just seems like such an easygoing group, but each of them has really great talents and they bring something to the plate oh this one's pretty i like this photo oh this is called the message card version this is quite the treat very cute i love this group photo 2023 you know it's somewhat like a season's greetings cute Oh, cool. Photo cards here. I want to check out how the CD looks like first. Oh, this is so cute. Oh my gosh. It has like the bunny characters. OMG, ditto. Quality of this is... They really stepped up. Adore definitely stepped up with this. This is so gorgeous. I freaking love it. The sleeve looks like this. Oh, cute. Super cute. Stickers. And now th they have a fandom. So, Toki or bunnies. Oh, this is so cute. I would totally put some of these on my photo card binder. Cute. I like how... I like the styling of this... It's a little more like winter, winter and holiday themed. This looks very festive. Ooh. Cool. So that's an O M G. Bunny with the jewel eye over there. 
These bunny characters are so adorable. And I like how they're all different colors. That was OMG Lurks. So that was the end for that. You turn it around this way and there'll be Lurks to ditto. Okay, that's why this side looks a bit more like Winter Wonderland. A little more like fairy tale like. Definitely love Ditto. I know it's not like the title track, but it's such a beautiful song. The first three pages are OMG, The Shape of a Bunny over here for the last page. That's my guess. But yeah, that was the lyrics page. And looks like there's a photo book. Cool. It was kind of trippy how in the Ditto video that first came out before OMG, there is a scene in the basketball court where they were all wearing like tracksuits and dancing to something, but didn't go with the Ditto choreography. But once OMG came out, there were some clips from the Ditto music video, like, kind of looped everything together. And in the end of OMG, it showed clips of all their previous releases. So that, that was a pretty unique idea to kind of sum all of their work so far in the end. Cool girl, Minji. She looks very chic. She has just a really good looking face. A pretty but also handsome face at the same time. She just gives like such chic vibes. Her personality is like really cool too. That's pretty. Head and makes an appearance over there. My biases right here, my top two. Trees. All the fun OMG outfits. Looking a bit more high fashion here. I wonder, were these in any music videos? I feel like it wasn't. But it looks, regardless, it looks really good. And it seems like each member, they're like, oh, there's like a glare. But it seems like each member will be ambassadors for certain luxury brands. So I think so far they announced it for, for Honey. Hagen and Danielle. So I'm curious who Minji and Hedin will represent. Okay, cute. That was the back. Photo cards. Comes with five of them. All your faves are here. Oh, nice. There's one with this outfit. The one I pointed out in the photo book. Oh yeah. And also an honorable mention, the quality. Feels more, it's semi-gloss this time. Not as flimsy as the first EP card, so definitely much better quality this time. All of these photo cards are pretty. Like her face is just freaking stunning. But not only her looks are pretty, I like her personality and her voice. Definitely want to hear more, more of her rapping and singing. I was surprised by the rap line. Like it was very brief, but her and Danielle split it. And they both have really nice tones for rapping. Kind of husky tones. Very gorgeous. That was the Minji version. Now I'll go through the next five versions.
Oh wait, before I <laughs> go through that, so this is why I was missing one because it was still in the box. So this is the first postcard. Here's the second postcard. It looks like that. Now I'm gonna go through the honey version. The cover looks like this. Back. Let me make sure I get all postcards this time since it's numbered. Okay, nothing in there. Okay. I'm gonna pick up the piece a bit. Look at each of the postcards and the message in the back. <laughs> if I could get it the right way. Such an adorable face. I really like her personality as well. I like all of their personalities. They, they're they all like kind of different from each other, but all together they're such a likable group. They all have like their own charms. New jeans, I would say a ditto. I was shocked when her her and Danielle cut their hair so short, but it's like a nice change. I mean, I love them all with long hair, but for this album, it's, it was pretty cool how some of them decided to change up their look almost completely. Oh, this one looks very festive. My heart is glowing up. It has like red and green and sparkles. Hey, Hedden makes an appearance over there. Kind of photobombing. I guess these are movies. That she likes. Some of them I have watched. Digital camera. A snowman. Ooh, these are really nice postcards. The reappearance of these animal characters, the bunny and the cat. I remember the cat in the Ditto music video. Pretty shade of hair. A pretty smile. Really like her smile. She seems like such a bright friendly person. And the fun bunny hats. Even her shirt has a bunny on it. Very cute. I think this was the same as the last version, or I guess for every version. The last postcard. Now, the CD, let's see if it's different or the same. Oh, looks a little different. So this one's pink, it has the bunny character, name of each of the ty uh, each of the tracks on it. Stickers. I like how for the single album it's a bit more refined. Like the CD, 
the stickers, the quality of the photos and the photo cards. That's the lyrics book. Same as last time. Now here's a photo book. I think it's better to just lay it flat. So Hani still has her black hair here, but her hair was trimmed already. So scenes from the Ditto music video. Heyin and Hani. Almost all members of the group. I think. No, no, no. I take it back. <laughs> oh, so bad. Um, Hedin and Hani. Hedin and Hadi. Oh my gosh. It's really late right now. So here's Hani and Danielle. Close-up glamour shots. Probably a uh, school in Korea. I recognize this spread. Oh my god. Outfits. Honey version. Now the photo cards look like this. Dark haired honey, pink haired honey. This outfit is cute. Really liking that bunny ear cap. Can I borrow your hoodie? These are all really pretty photo cards. Super cute. Okay, that was that was the honey version. I'll unbox the Danielle version. Oh, that way. Trying to go through all these postcards. NG Danielle unit. This is a cute postcard. My heart is glowing, it'd be glowing. I'll see that a couple of times. Oh my god, I like this style and the coloring. I think there was one in the previous version or maybe even Minji's version. But this particular postcard looks really cute. Oh, I see. So this one's mentioning, I guess, movies they'd like to watch during the holidays or the winter season. Pretty. Oh, and a snowman over here, too. I actually like her short hair. It's, like, pretty stylish. Like, her long curly hair is very beautiful, but... um. 
her face was already so pretty that she could do any look so her with that short hair kind of gives her like a kind of that edgy look definitely really like Danielle's voice as well it's like a nice husky tone and she sings well too so I feel like her and Minji probably have the huskiest or the lowest tone in the group Cute. And these are the same. I'll still show it anyways. So those are the last three postcards that you should get. The CD cover. Ooh, pretty. So even the design is different. So it has the bunnies and stuff like that and the name of the different title tracks, but it's it has different placement and it's different colors. This is freaking gorgeous. I'm like so impressed. Okay, that was the lyrics. Now uh, Danielle's photo book. Close up glamour shot. Okay, so this answers my question. Ditto music video was filmed in South Korea. <laughs> this is dodgeball. School uniform outfits. I guess, yeah. Ditto concept photos. Two Aussies, Honey, Danielle. Three out of five members. Oh, the next smile. And it gives you like behind the scenes pictures. Oh, they have like a photo shoot too. Personally, I like these hats, even with the long pigtails coming out of it. I think it's really stylish. It's like unique too. This is cute. And the, I guess, cat beanie. Same as the cover photo. Or this. This looks familiar. Yep. Those last two pages are, or last three pages seem to all be the same. Then a greeting for the 2023 year. Danielle. Now photo cards. Maybe I'll do it this way so you can look at the message first. Oh, the reappearance of the cat beanie. Adorable. That was the Danielle version. Right now, I'm going to go through my bias, or one of two biases, head ends version. I already took off the plastic wrapping. But I'm like kind of amazed that her fan cams are going viral, but she definitely deserves it. Uh, in the beginning, she was a bias wrecker, but she kind of slowly became oh, probably my bias. I could say it's either Hedden or Minji. But um, yeah, she's just so subtly talented. I don't agree with this list at all. Like, I feel like you should make your own opinions 
formulate your own opinions instead of just piggybacking on others. But um, I highly disagreed with those bogus rankings online. I did notice that she had like such a groove to her. Like when she dances, she kind of has like a little extra swagger. T For example, there's like a TLC TikTok, the Harlem Shake. It started off with Honey and of course she's a great dancer. She has a lot of charisma, but um, that's the first time I noticed. I was like, hey, Eden kind of has like that little extra, a little extra something in her dance. It's pretty nice seeing her finally get recognized for her dance talents. The Run BTS challenge when her and Minji danced to BTS's song. You could kind of see it in her footwork. Like she's very light, her feet. Just an idol that you could kind of just tell they have the extra something in their skills. And I say this a lot, but I do really like her vocal tone as well. Each of them have different colors to their voices, um, but Hidden, I feel like she also has that extra something too. None of New Jean's songs, there's no like, belting high note or anything like that but there's just something about her voice that it just sounds really good on record definitely see her as an ace as well along with honey it's really cute when they pair her with cats because she definitely resembles one And I'm not the biggest fan of the hair color, but she's head in, so she could definitely pull it off. I'm pretty sure anything would look great on her. So, yeah, this is the 25 postcard set, varying between different hairstyles, different hair colors. Oh yeah, I remember seeing this online. So this is like the famous dress that a couple SM artists wore in their photo shoots. For example, Joy from Red Velvet. Joy from Red Velvet was wearing this in the birthday album and Karina of Espa wore it to a BB magazine photo shoot. I'm sure there's more idols or people have, that have worn that dress for their photo shoots. Oh, this is cute. An interesting accessory that she's holding. The reemergence of the cat and the bunny character. So since it's 2023, I think sometime in this quarter, there will be an official release for their light stick. So I'm going to hope that they will visit the US and have some kind of show or tour. I would love to see New Jeans vibe. They're just so trendy. I feel like they're kind of ahead of the game. They're such trendsetters. Every music release is great. It's just it doesn't just sound like noise. It actually has like great musicality to it. Okay, let's see the hidden CD version. Oh, I think it's this way. Ooh, it's purple. Definitely a beautiful design. Sheets of stickers. Same kind of lyric book. Now the photo book, which is, I think, 50 something pages. But yeah, I'm like super proud that Hedden's dance skill and just her charm is starting to get attention. It's kind of crazy, like if you see the individual fan cams for the performance version of Ditto, like from the get-go, Hedden's were just, it, the views just soared, but by no means necessary, like it doesn't mean, you know, one member's better than the other, but at that moment, um, it's nice to see certain members shine. Oh, 
my biases. Everyone has dark hair still. I see this a lot in every single version. Oh, how cute. Oh, and without the hat. Her photo. Now the photo cards of the head inversion. I'm gonna go this way just so it's easier to show the message. Oh, how cute! Pigtails with the bunny shirt. Oh. Winking photo. Oh, it's the bag I mentioned earlier. Interesting. Cute supreme beanie. Oh, how gorgeous. I really like how they stepped up their game with the photo card quality. None of these are flimsy. So that's the head inversion. Now I'm going over the hay inversion. The maknae of the group. This is a cute photo because she's actually smiling for once and kind of showcases her youthful looks. Okay, going through the 25 card postcard set. Loving the festive theme. It's cute when she smiles. Like definitely brightens her face up like this one. They look really cute here. I saw, I don't know what music show it was, but it had Hagen and Minji collabing with other fourth generation groups. I think it had Sol Yoon from MMIX, of Lisu, Liso from Ibe. I think that was it. Oh yeah, and I forgot, Le Seraphim. It had um, Unche from Le Seraphim, but they all covered a shiny song. They all did so well. So it's really cute when you see um, girl group members cover male group songs because you could, you could kind of see them try something different. But um, what I also like about New Jeans is even though they're a girl group, the dances aren't like overly cutesy or feminine. Seems a bit more technical than just doing a few cutesy moves. Nothing wrong with being cutesy, but definitely like how New Jeans does the unexpected with all of their dance concepts. Because if you watch Ditto, oh my gosh, it definitely looks like a workout, like the ultimate cardio workout. But um, really amazed by all of the work ethic that they put into each of their releases. So they're such a great group. Number 19. Pretty nice. A lot of collectibles for fans. So 25 postcards is pretty generous. Pretty sure these are the same. I feel like I saw this earlier. Over here. Oh, that is so weird. I think this fell out of something because this was just in the pre-order gift. Or maybe it was accidentally packed there. 
I'm going to go through everything later and see if anyone's missing a number 23 postcard. Yeah, those were all the same. Group postcards there. Let's look at the CD type for hands. Oh, how pretty. Like a beautiful shade of blue. How gorgeous. Sticker, sticker, lyrics. And now her photo book. So every version, it starts with photos from mainly the Ditto music video. But in this case, um, her bangs are kind of grown out, so definitely like this look better. Long bangs. Or even just like no bangs. Just dark hair. It's pretty nice on her. Okay, there's the hand version. Has the cat over there. Now her photo card set of five. Oh wait, it has to go this way. Oh, that's a long message. First one the bunny cap with the bunny ears. I think her writing is pretty unique. Classic eye to the side look. <laughs> that's funny. Okay, that's the hand version. And the last version is the New Jeans All Member version. So let's see how those message cards look like. Cute! It's the point move from Oh My God, OMG. Such a catchy song. I feel like uh, hip hop or R&B artists from Korea would definitely have that style of song. That's what it kind of reminds me of. Like I definitely could see someone like Zico or I don't know, Crush doing that kind of song. Kind of has those kind of vibes is what I'm trying to say. It's a very catchy, fun song. It's really cute. And uh, I did mention how Ditto is more like sentimental, more melodic. It's a very beautiful song. <laughs> it's an interesting photo. Okay, I'm liking this. They're all group postcards. Seriously, the perfect group for the fourth gen. Oh, I like this one. Honey Minji, Honey Hedden, Cute, cute, very cute. My personal favorite design. Oh, look at their backpacks. It's adorable. <laughs> kind of looks like the BTS characters, like the BTS animal characters.
group version CD is white. Honestly, I like all versions. It's very cute. Very elegant looking. All the stickers. Pretty similar. Probably the same. Lyrics here. Now, photo book. I just realized Minji has like a trimmed layer over here. Oh, how cute. She's wearing glasses. Being mischievous. Oh wait, that was from the Ditto music video when um, Minji erased- what was her name again? I know it's supposed to stand for bunnies. <laughs> like the name is- it sounds kind of like bunnies, like the fandom. But yeah, I remember there's a scene she erased her legs. Not gonna lie, like the Ditto music video creeped me out at first because some scenes are like reminiscent of the ring. I was like, oh hell no, I don't fuck with horror movies. But um, yeah. Definitely interesting message underneath it all. There's the trees again. Okay, so that's the end of the New Jeans All Member version. Now Last thing are the photo cards. Oh, I should do it that way. And one card per member for Tayen. Heading. It's a big earring. Danielle. Oh, cute. Honey. Pigtail. Lastly, Minji. She's so pretty. Oh my gosh. I like her layers too. That's the New Jeans all member version. And that was my unboxing of New Jeans' first single album, OMG.